Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you a mod that adds the Deb Deb star system that was supposed to be in KSP2 into KSP1. The mod is called Promised Worlds and right now it has one star system with about seven planets. The system is very young and the star is still surrounded by its protoplanetary disk. If we zoom in here, we can see the first planet is called Char, which orbits very close to its star. It is extremely dense, being nearly 500 kilometers in radius and having almost 2 g's of surface gravity. There is no atmosphere here at all, making this planet many times harder to land on than Tylo. Next, we have another rocky planet called Ovin. This planet has a magnificent ring system, and it is absolutely huge, being nearly 1200 kilometers in radius. And the surface gravity is over 4 g's. There is, however, an atmosphere here, which extends 32 kilometers high, and has a max pressure of 0.2 atmospheres, so that may help you a little bit in landing on this planet. Next up, we have a planet system called Gerdama. Looking at this planet from the outside, you may think that it is habitable with blue oceans, white clouds, and a blue sky. However, reading the description, you'll see that it actually isn't. Gerdama is 580 kilometers in radius and has a comfortable surface gravity of 0.94 g, with an atmosphere that extends 74 kilometers into space and has a max pressure of 1.1 atmospheres. The planet does have massive liquid water oceans on its surface, however, the atmosphere does not contain much oxygen at all and is unbreathable for Kerbals. Gerdama has two moons, the first of which is called Donk. It is pretty small, almost 200 kilometers in radius. It has a surface gravity of 0.16 g and a thin atmosphere that extends 44 kilometers into space. The maximum pressure of the air here is 0.015 atmospheres. Gerdama's second moon, Gup, is in a highly elliptical orbit around it, and it's basically just a small rock 8 kilometers long. Not much there. The next planet we have is Lapat, and you would be right in thinking that this planet is habitable, as it has liquid water oceans and an oxygen atmosphere. It is actually extremely small for a habitable planet and has a radius of just 370 kilometers and a surface gravity under half that of Kerbin's. The maximum pressure of the oxygen-nitrogen air is 0.9 atmospheres and due to the low gravity, the atmosphere extends pretty far into space, about 97 kilometers. Next up we have the gas giant Glumo, which is about 7,000 kilometers in radius. The first moon is a tiny rock called Nodj, which sits in Glumo's ring system. The second moon called Shana is a slightly bigger rock at 85 kilometers, and it has a prominent equatorial ridge. The next moon is called Clyde, and it is 165 kilometers in radius, and it doesn't have a description, so we don't know much about it, but it does have these canal-looking structures all across the surface. The next moon, called Merble, again looks habitable from the outside. The moon is just over 400 kilometers and has a surface gravity of 0.46 g. The air is considerably thinner than the other subhabitable planets, with a surface pressure of about 0.3 atmospheres. There's not enough oxygen in the air for Kerbals to breathe here, and the blue oceans are actually full of toxic copper sulfate. The next moon, called Deiros, is an even bigger rock at about 125 kilometers in radius, and around it, it has a smaller rock called Chut. It is 35 kilometers and orbits the moon of Glumo. The next planet is another gas giant called Axod, and it's about 3,500 kilometers in radius. Its first moon, Umad, is just another rock, about 30 kilometers in radius. The next moon, Mesma, is a bigger rock, about 200 kilometers in radius and 0.13 surface gravity. Mesma shares an orbit with Omasa, which is a similar moon, 
about 100 kilometers in radius. Axod's biggest and last moon is called Rosh. It is 250 kilometers in radius and has surface gravity of 0.2 g, and it surprisingly has an atmosphere that extends 10 kilometers into space and has a max pressure of 0.04 atmospheres. The very last planet is called Dorau. Dorau is about 375 kilometers in radius and has a surface gravity of 0.32 g. The atmosphere extends very far into space, about 100 kilometers, and the surface pressure is 0.2 atmospheres. Dorau is a frozen snowball world, and it even has lakes of liquid nitrogen on its surface. Dorau's only moon is quite large relative to itself, about 180 kilometers in radius. It's called Bis, and it's in a very high elliptical orbit around Dorau, likely captured from the outer solar system. That is the whole Deb Deb system, and I think that they are planning to add more star systems to this mod. Although I'm not sure if the new star systems are going to be ones that were supposed to be in KSP2. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.